What's the story of one times five? Mrs. Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across Mr. Flaming Five, <laughs> she casts a spell <laughs> and changes him into Flaming Five Clown. <laughs> one times five is five. What's the story of two times eight? When two squeaks is surprised by the wailing of Spooky Eight, the ghost, she gives a little shriek. This wakes up a cat who was sleeping in a dustbin. When she sees the cat, she yells even louder. The ghost has found someone scarier than him. The dustbin and its lid make a one. The cat and its tail make a six. Two times eight is sixteen. What's the story of six times nine? When Scorpy six meets Slimy Nine, he wants to sting him with his tail. But Slimy Nine is quicker and hides under the ground. Scorpy six doesn't give up though and tries to reach him at the end of his tunnel. But he comes out with something hanging off his tail. It is a cow's skull in the shape of a five. He is very disappointed and gets rid of it behind a cactus in the shape of a four. Six times nine is fifty-four. What's the story of seven times seven? It's the new year. Granny Ram Seven and Grandpa Ram Seven are having a party. Grandpa wants to play a trick on Granny. <laughs> he blows his party trumpet right in her ear. <coughs> Granny Ram Seven is so surprised, she loses her hat in the shape of a four. She angrily seizes Grandpa's toy, which is in the shape of a nine, and gets rid of it once and for all. Come on, the party's over. Time for bed. Seven times seven is forty-nine. <laughs> Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of four times seven? When Vamp Four sees the mummy Ram Seven, he can't help biting her. But he only manages to take a bite out of the mummy's handbag. She is so angry. She rears up and hits Vamp Four on the head, spilling everything in her bag. A fine banknote in the shape of a two and several coins which pile up in the shape of an eight. We have an economic issue. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of three times eight? Reconcine is cleaning his ears with a crank candle. But Spooky Eight the ghost makes him jump and he hurts himself with the tool. 
Furious, he throws down the crank handle. It lands on the Spooky Ape's chain and stops him from moving. Spooky Ape pulls as hard as he can to get free. He finally manages to break the chain in the shape of a two, which whisks away the crank handle in the shape of a four. Three times eight is twenty-four. What's the story of eight times nine? When Spooky ate the ghost, sees Slimy Nine, he rushes to give him a fright. Slimy Nine jumps and bumps into a set of armour in the shape of a seven, which loses an arm in the shape of a two. Eight times nine is seventy-two. <laughs> Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times ten? When two squeaks meets the potion Magic Ten, it makes her very, very hungry. She dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. She gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Two times ten is twenty. Remember my trick. You only have to memorize the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of four times ten? When Vamp Four meets the potion Magic Ten. It makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Four times ten is forty.